the first decisive battle of Islam. And it is a battle that all of us are familiar with. And it is the battle of Badr, which took place the very first Ramadan after the Hijrah. On the 17th of Ramadan, in the second year of the Hijrah, we all know the story that a small group of Muslims, barely 300 in number, were expecting a caravan to pass by. So they were not prepared. They weren't wearing armor. This was a raid on a caravan. It was not an army expedition. And raids and expeditions are two different things. And the Muslims were prepared to come in, take the caravan of Abu Sufyan, and then bring it back to Medina. And caravans are not guarded. Caravans do not have armies. Caravans do not have horses. Caravans do not have armors and weaponry. We all know the story. Abu Sufyan heard what happened. He changed his route. He sent for an army from Mecca. So 1,000 soldiers from the Quraysh marched forward. 1,000 armed men with hundreds of camels, hundreds of horses, with military equipment, hundreds of suits of armor. And the Muslims were now wondering what to do. Should we proceed? Should we go back? And the Prophet ﷺ gave that passionate speech that we all know. And the Sahaba were all riled up. And Sa'd ibn Mu'ad said, Ya Rasulullah, go forth. For by Allah, even if you take us into the ocean, we will go behind you. And this battle of Badr, the decisive victory that Allah calls Yawm al-Furqan, the day that truth won over falsehood, it took place on the 17th of Ramadan. On this day, the icons of Kufr, every single major icon of Kufr was either killed or died right after the battle of Badr. And the Muslims barely had a scrape, barely two or three people died. And the Quraysh had 73 prisoners of war taken to Medina. This day of Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds the believers that on this day, Allah had promised you, you would be victorious over one of the two groups, either the caravan or the army. And you wanted the caravan because that was easier for you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had wanted something greater than that. So that the truth can be manifest over falsehood. This day of Ramadan, 17th of Ramadan, was the first victory for the Muslims. And not coincidentally, it occurred in the middle of the month. And the lesson we learn from that victory for us this Ramadan, the lesson we learn is that, you know what? We might not be fully prepared. We might not be fully prepared for that month. How many of us now are trepidating, wondering, how am I going to fast? But just like the Muslims were not prepared for Badr, but when Badr came, they stood up for the challenge. When Badr occurred, they put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them that victory. Even if we feel unprepared for Ramadan, and many of us are spiritually and perhaps even physically unprepared right now. Even if we feel unprepared, put our trust in Allah. And Allah azza wa jal will cause us to be victorious in this month.